Here's a road jukebox model R88. This is in for repair at Retro Electronics. The biggest complaint on this was poor quality, weak sound. And we also had a problem with the fluorescent ballast. Some of the wires got ripped out of the ballast by some rough handling. I took the amplifier out of this. I did an ESR check on the capacitors and they seem to be okay and I sprayed all the controls so to a, I was going to do a performance test to see how the jukebox worked but it wouldn't come on I thought that's weird and I had it plugged in to this two prong outlet here it wouldn't come on and I thought well, that's strange because it came on when I first tested it then I plugged it into a grounded outlet and it came on. I thought, uh-oh, I hope that's not the problem I think it is. And sure enough, it is. Somebody miswired this plug. And if you look at this, see the ground prongs at the bottom. The black wire of the power cord, let me turn it over here. The black wire of the power cord is hooked to the ground terminal. And guess where the ground terminal is hooked up to? it's hooked up to one of the hot leads of the power cord. So I'm lucky I didn't get seriously shocked on this thing because somebody hooked one of the ground terminals, the ground wire up to the hot part of the power cord. And so everything in this jukebox that's metal is ground, is connected together, it's bonded together and connected to ground, so everything in there would have been hot. And who knows how long this worked. And the, the really scary thing is that this jukebox actually played because it was able to get power through the ground circuit because the ground, the black wire was going to the ground the white wire was going to go into one of the terminals of the power uh, circuit so that way it was able to get power between the hot side of the power line and the grounding conductor but this is a... I, I, didn't, I didn't expect this on this, I only saw this on one other thing which was a Hammond organ, an L100 series, where someone had spliced up a power cord and they hooked the power leads, the green and the black power leads up to supply power to the L100. So, this is ju just, a, just a warning. I think everybody should heed, if you're ever working on anything that has a homemade or a home-wired plug on the end of it, make sure you take that plug off and check it, even extension cords so that you don't end up getting shocked by somebody's stupidity who wired up the plug wrong before you. I'm going to have to rewire this plug so I can test out the jukebox. But <laughs> just the, as the years go on, as you work in this the business of repairing things, there's so many weird things you find that you thought nobody would ever be stupid enough to do that, but they end up doing it. And then here's the ballast. The, uh, the wire looked in good shape, but one of the other wires got torn out of it, so we're going to have to replace that. So I'm going to rewire this plug and test out the road jukebox.